please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. On the show today, we check out the 2018 Harley Davidson motorcycles from the Softail family. A quick look at the Audi A5 Sportback, Auto Selector with Shumi, and the latest news from this week. Hi, welcome to Overdrive. You're watching the show with me, so we need that. And here's a look. Welcome to Spain. These are two of the many motorcycles we're going to be riding on the show today. They're the 2018 Softails from Harley Davidson. They're lighter, they have more corning clearance, they have more power. It's going to be a good day. But first, the big news is that the old Harley-Davidson Dyna line has been absorbed into the Softail family for the 2018 model year. Harley-Davidson says the Dynas, known to be light and leaf, were also always getting muddled in the customers' heads with the Softails. And that's what prompted the, um, let's call it a merger. There are eight Softails in all for 2018 and three are here today. What's missing is the 2018 Fat Boy 107, which will come to India along with the larger engine 115th anniversary version. We did also ride the new breakout. You can see the story on overdrive.in, but it isn't coming to India because the last one wasn't too popular. All the motorcycles are technically all new this year and it's not just the cosmetics. There are updates to literally everything and I cannot think of a better place to start than the sportiest soft tail of them all for 2018, the ridiculously good looking Fat Bob. Now the Fat Bob is the new big daddy of sporty Harleys, but its behavior, we can't discuss that until we talk about how it looks. And it looks the business. Daryl Dixon wouldn't have given an arm and a leg for this. The Fat Bob is fat to be sure from its balloon tires to its stocky build and it starts with that headlight. So that's almost as good looking as someone I know but jokes aside the point is that all the 2018 soft tails get LED headlights and my favorite is this one from uh, the Fat Bob. I don't even really know how to describe it but it's basically two rows of LEDs. They're supposedly very bright. We've only been riding during the day but when you see that in your rear view mirror you want to get out of the way. And you'd be right to get out of the way because it's got the moves and a stance that encourages the rider to use them. You sit behind the thick handlebar that's more or less a straight bar which gives you great leverage and you get to use that. The all new 2018 frame is stiffer and lighter and the fat bob gets a 28 degree rake, the sharpest soft tail of them all. It also gets the only set of cartridge upside down telescopic forks from Showa in the range this year. If you muscle the motorcycle around, and you must, you will discover a neutral handling responsive package. If I'm honest with you, I didn't really like the last street bob at all. Every opportunity I got to ride it, I somehow managed to avoid it. I'm just a terrible journalist but this time I'm really surprised with this because it does look like this and it's really a big machine but a it's fun b it actually handles it's not the lightest machine you'll ever ride but if you put a little bit of force into it it handles accurately going from full lean on the left to full lean on the right you'd be surprised at how accurately and easily it does it and honestly I wasn't expecting to be so enamored of it but I can't wait to test this in India and where the Fat Bob was unexpectedly feelsome as well as interesting, the Heritage Classic, I thought, would be more predictable. Because we know that the old one was a big, comfy teddy bear. And like the other soft tails, it's got the new 1750cc Milwaukee 8 engine this year as well. That's the new Milwaukee 8, which we met for the first time on the touring range last year when it was launched in Seattle. We've road tested motorcycles like the Road Glide in India and we loved it. This one though is slightly different because the state of tune is individual to the soft tail and now it's got dual counterbalancers which is a much smoother engine overall and that means Harley Davidson mounts this engine stiff to the frame. It's part of the frame and it gives it 34% more stiffness. And the first time you tip any of the 2018 soft tails into a corner, you immediately know that that makes a difference. 
That's right. The new engine adds to the feel and charm of the motorcycle and hardly take that one step forward by making the Heritage the most touring friendly motorcycle of the lot. How? The rear monoshock is the extra long one shared with the fat bob to permit pillions as well as full bags to be taken care of via preload adjustment and the extra wheel travel. They've also made the Heritage screen removable, the hard bags are now lockable and weather resistant and this is the sole family member that gets cruise control. So now you're thinking this is a slightly calm down, highway chill out kind of machine, right? If you've hung out on Facebook, and please don't tell me you haven't, we all know you have hung out on Facebook, you've seen that video where there's this old guy with a walking stick in a shopping bag and he's sort of doddering along and then the music kicks up and it's some hardcore trance track or something and he just flings the walking stick one side, the shopping bag goes the other way and he's like doing the jitterbug and yeah, it's got like a million likes or something. The Heritage Soft is sort of like that because it looks like this, it looks like a very old motorcycle but believe me, the kind of things that this is able to do is stunning. In the mountain roads today, you can corner it as hard as you like, there's no effort involved because the handlebar gives you a lot of leverage, it falls to lean angles fast. That, uh, the, the footboard, it's scraped, it's literally scraped away. It's amazing and if you think something that looks like this shouldn't go up a mountain road, try. If the fat pop's alarmingly aggressive posture and demeanor and the Heritage Classic's cornering chops and sweet manners from his great huge things, wait for the 2018 Street Bob. That's the real Thriller Minute ride. The Street Bob is one of my favourite Harleys because it's always been a light, sweet handling machine and this one's even better. The reason why it's so popular is because if you look at the Softail family, that's the cheapest motorcycle in the family and in my head, this is what a Harley Davidson is supposed to look like, this is what a Harley is supposed to feel like. Just as with the Fat Bob and the Heritage Classic, the Street Bob is also smoother and lighter for 2018, courtesy the new frame. But on this one, the weight loss is hard to tell until you start turning the volume up to 11. Because the Street Bob was already a light feeling fleet footed Harley. Not an apex predator in the Japanese port naked manner, but certainly a bird of prey as American cruisers go. And it hasn't lost that zing. The Street Bob is easy to understand and operate and whether you ride at 30 km per hour so everyone can see you or hustle through the corners, the Sweet Bob aces the task. Indeed, Harley point out that the Street Bob is the most affordable soft tail as well as the most likely candidate for being the first big twin Harley for most customers. And on the flip side, the Street Bob is also a bit of a whiz at taking on all kinds of modifications from performance to radical designs in its stride. This is a truly special little Harley. There is just so much to love about the Street Bob because it's just such a natural motorcycle to ride. I know I've already said this but I can't, I can't tell you just how easy it is for me to recommend to somebody who's never ridden a Harley Davidson before, or never experienced a Harley Davidson before, what should I ride? You should ride a Street Bob. Because it puts all the basic pieces in place and Harley Davidson has told us again and again that the Street Bob is a popular model because it begins like this and then uh, people accessorize, they customize it in the handlebars, foot pegs and they get a completely different experience out of it. But the essence of Harley Davidson is here. In a sense, the 2018 Harleys are a good bunch. The Milwaukee Motorhead's done good even. They've turned the Fat Bob into the most radical design from America I've seen while ensuring that its show is matched by the go. The Heritage Classic keeps its feel firmly rooted in nostalgia while adding practicality, ride quality as well as genuine highway equipment. And the Street Bob is just wonderful to ride. A combination of low effort, it's easy to get along with and still so happy to dance a jig through the corners when you want to. This represents a solid new lineup for the company that intends to launch a hundred new Harley Davidsons in the next 10 years. So as we wrap up the show, I must apologize that the Fat Boy and the 115th anniversary Fat Boy couldn't be here. Uh, they're in Los Angeles, uh, evidently the T1000's been spotted again, the world's in peril and all of those kind of things. But those two and these three are the new soft tails that are coming to India. I don't think you're going to get any other new Harley Davidsons in this calendar year in India. 
but that's five good ones.